Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our final Windows 11 24H2 update rolling out for this year, 2024. And that's because Microsoft has announced, as I've mentioned, that due to the holidays, there will be no optional bug fix C release updates rolling out for Windows 10 and 11 at the end of this month. Now, for Windows 11 24H2, obviously this is a Patch Tuesday update, which rolls out on the second Tuesday of the month, so it's compulsory and mandatory. And the update is KB5048667. Now, the Patch Tuesday updates obviously are mainly focusing on security. And the security fixes that have rolled out for 24H2 are 45 in total, addressing 45 vulnerabilities. So that's one more than Windows 10 and Windows 11 23H2. That's one more in total. And then we get nine critical vulnerabilities that have been patched, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. That's exactly the same as 23H2. And those critical vulnerabilities are all remote code execution vulnerabilities. So um, this is an important security update rolling out. And then we get 46 important. And remote code execution vulnerabilities means that if your system isn't patched, access could be gained over a network or over the internet. So 46 important vulnerabilities have been patched, nine critical and 45 in total. Now, once again, and as always, the Patch Tuesday security updates will include improvements that were part of the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out towards the end of the previous month. So that would be this update that rolled out on the 21st, 22nd of November, depending on your region, KB5046740. And I actually posted a whole video on that because there's quite a lot going on. So I'll leave that link down below in the end screen. Go check that out for more in-depth info. And just a quick recap for the purpose of this video. Now, once again, uh, just a quick side note. Um, the improvements that rolled out with this update that are now available in this update are very similar to what I posted on that have also rolled out uh, for 23H2 because for 23H2 and 24H2, there's not really too much difference between the OS. Microsoft has pushed out quite a lot of so-called 24H2 features to 23H2, but nonetheless, for the purpose of this video. Now, it includes start menu jump lists improvements. And jump lists, if we right-click on an app in the task manager, are these. And um, just on another side note, most of these new features are gradually rolling out according to Microsoft and most of them I haven't received. So you may see them, you may not. So getting back to the start menu jump lists. So when you pin an app to your start menu, you should also see those jump lists. I'm not, but as mentioned, go check that out. You may have received that. And then it also shows a, it also shortens the date and time for the system tray. So for this, if we head to our settings and we head over to Time and language, date and time. This one I haven't received as well. Yeah, under show time and date in the system tray, uh, you should see another setting here to shorten that date and time. So that's a nice one because it just cleans up the date and time in the system tray, making that, that a lot less cluttered. And I actually can't wait for that to actually roll out in my region. And then the notification bell icon might not show, which is this little bell icon here to the right of the system tray. That might not show. Um, if you set the toggle for do not disturb to on like I have. Okay, I also haven't received that yet. And then there are a couple of task manager UI user interface improvements rolling out. Go check that other video out. I did I go a little bit more in depth with that. And if we head to our file explorer, uh, there is a phone link improvement. This one I still also haven't received. Uh, if you right click on a file, you can share content to an Android device from the context menu. And yeah, at the top, you should see send to phone if you have the feature. And that obviously means if you've got phone link app set up and link to Windows set up um, on your phone and phone link on your Windows device. So just take note of that. What else do we get here? Um, there are dynamic lighting settings page improvements. Um, go check the video out for more info. We get accessibility improvements. And getting back to jump lists, if you if uh, you hold shift and control and click a jump list item, this opens the item as an admin 
and um, I haven't received that either. And there were a couple of other little features that rolled out, as mentioned, the videos linked down below and in the end screen. And there were also fixes rolling out for DISM, PowerShell, Windows Update, Clipboard. There were some general bug fixes and there was a little bit more going on, as mentioned, the videos linked. And um, because this is a compulsory mandatory update, uh, if we head over to our search, just to have a quick search for Winver to find out what the build has been bumped up to. So this is the About Windows menu for 24H2 of Windows 11. The OS build is sitting on 26,100.2605 after this update has been applied. And guys, that's the last update for 24H2 for this year of 2024. The next update will be rolling out in, on the second Tuesday of January next year. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.